Preston, there was a pretty special game out in Canadian tonight. They faced Tulia. We're going to watch the highlights first, but that really wasn't what was really special about that game. Right, a really special game for multiple reasons. Let's get into the highlights first, though. We're going to Canadians where the Tulia Hornets met with the Wildcats. Wildcats running out of the tunnel. To start off, Tulia punts the ball to Luke Flowers, and he's going to get it, and he jukes past defenders. And check this out. He's still going. He's still going. He's still going. He returns it all the way for the touchdown on the punt return. What a play by Luke Flowers out of Canadian. Wow, an amazing play. The offense comes up next when Cameron Cavalier is going to rocket the ball to Max Dumald. He can run over the defender as he gets into the end zone. Canadian flies by Tulia, 72 0 in this one. Special night in Canadian, not just because of the win. They named their field after the legendary co coach Chris Ketting. Here's what he had to say after the ceremony. Through, all, through my coaching career, I just wanted to make a difference on kids and, and coaches. Thank you, Goffey. Uh, 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 I hope, line, hope maybe I did a little field, bit of that. Uh, so. made, and, uh, uh, but, man, this, this at, community uh, that, that we, 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 we have is unbelievable. Uh, uh, since the, the first day I walk up, walked into uh, Canadian, I've been, I've been treated so well by everybody, you know, and it's just a special place, and, uh, and it's, it's my home, so, and uh, it's just been, it's been a, the, the best thing that ever happened to me. Very special night for Coach Ketting. Of course, very well-deserved being celebrated at Canadian as he uh, heads into retirement. So awesome to see that he got the chance to be honored in that way and uh, well-deserved, as we said. Team, looking pretty good, too. So yeah, we'll see how absolutely. Canadian... Absolutely. Team's looking great season. without him, but they look great with him as well. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. What an honor. Well-deserved. We'll see if they can add another state title to that trophy case this year. But that's weeks away. Let's get into some more district action tonight. Canyon could clinch a share of the district title, but... Dumas looking to stay alive in the district title hunt. First play from scrimmage. The Eagles, Christian McGuire rolls down the right side before getting pushed out in the red zone. And that first play of the game would set the stage for what was an offensive showcase. Eagles play some power football, given to the senior Sam Johnson for the score. They go on top. The Demons answer right back. Their senior, Luis Escarcega, takes it up the middle, but this game would go back and forth all night long. Canyon now going to the air, and it's Boston Bell hooking up with Trip Wright over the middle, a score, Eagles back out in front, but then here come the Demons, back and forth, back and forth, these two teams go. Dumas matches them again with a strike from Colton Mills to Johnny Marquez. He runs it in for a score. A thrilling one in Dumas. Very high scoring. The Demons win in a shootout, 45-42. to 42. What a phenomenal game. District implications again. Borger and Perryton were facing off in another big matchup. More district implications in this one up in Perryton. There they go for the coin toss. Borger driving here. It's K.J. Jennings finding a hole. He runs it in for a touchdown. Puts the Bulldogs on the board. Later, Borger would look to add to that total. They're going to be down by the goal line now. Third and three. Jennings looking toward the end zone. It's intercepted by Ranger Gordo Estrada. Perryton takes over from there. The Rangers steal all the momentum. Julian Cervantes makes his way around the edge for a touchdown after that. And Perryton would take that momentum and run with it like he's running with the ball. 41 to 14, the Rangers win. Bushland and Dalhart, this one, a district title game for these two teams, both undefeated in district so far. Whoever wins is gonna take that crown in the second quarter. Tanner Adams takes the handoff around the edge. He gets down the sideline and just turns on the Jets. He's too fast for that Dalhart defense. He's gone. Touchdown to put Bushland on top later in the half an absolute dime look at this dawson jaco drops it in the bucket that was perfect defense but jaco's throw just too good max rodriguez fights for the extra yards and that sets up jaco to do it with his legs this time a few plays later in for the touchdown preston is there a better falcon is there is there a better quarterback in the panel that's really the question as it looks like the falcons uh, it doesn't look like it the falcons took this one and they finished the season they're going to the open week next week finished the season undefeated in district 48 to 14, the final for Bushland, your district champs. Jaco is a phenomenal quarterback. Friona 
and Spearman. We're taking each other on in Spearman, in Spearman tonight for the coin toss right there. Friona would start off strong with a QB carry. That's Cade Seaman. He forces his way to the end zone here, juking around a couple Spearman defenders, but he makes it in. And then after that, the Chieftain defense wanted to get in on the action. This is a forced fumble and recovery by Damian Sanchez. Chieftains flying all over the field, offense and defense. Later on, Cade Seaman is going to take it himself. You heard his name earlier, but you're going to see him once again. He takes it himself. Not even the face mask can stop him. He powers through for another touchdown. Friona wins this one 40 to 27. And we're going to look at some other 3A games as well. Shallow Water taking down Muleshoe 27 to 19, and Childress blowing out Dimmitt in the Battle of the Bobcats 65 to 7. Well, certainly some of the most exciting district games we had there. Teams claiming district titles, teams staying in the district hunt. We're going to have plenty more of that action coming up on the wrap-up after this break.